This is the spirit called affectation. The spirit of affectation. That's the pretender spirit. Hmm. Webster's defines affectation as a show, a pretense, or display. Behavior that is assumed rather than natural. Artificiality, a particular habit as of speech or dress adopted to give a false impression. Affectation, this is what God told me, y'all, and I'm, I'm going to try to give you this and we're going to try to close this out. Affectation is planted into a person through some kind of deficit or traumatic experience that makes them feel the need to be proven with their actions or abilities. Rape, molestation, incest, abandonment, neglect, abuse, or talent affirmations, etc. These things make a person, when they happen to a person, the person feels a need to pretend that they're okay and to show others that they're okay. So rather than coming broken, are y'all listening to me? Rather than coming broken, they put on a false identity. So in their youth, and this usually happens with musicians and people that are talented or have talents, musicians and different ones, people clap and applaud while they're playing. But who they are, nobody affirms. So their talent is always affirmed. But who they are inside, internally, is never affirmed. Then if there's no man there who gives the identity and the affirmation to the child, then he begins to try to use his music or his talent or ability to seek affirmation. That's why right now, the best musicians, the best singers, the best actors, the best folks that's in the spotlight are always perverts. always perverts they're always perverted you know why because they were affirmed on the outside but they were never dealt with on the inside because people would rather use their talent and be entertained than dig into them for their own, for their true healing and deliverance Yeah, it's quiet now, but it's the truth. Affectation, this pretender spirit, is what homosexuals thrive on. There is no homosexuality without affectation. Because the minute homosexuality comes, you have to pretend you're either not like that, or you have to pretend you are like that, and you are, were born like that. So everything about the homosexual is affectation. Everything about the homosexual is pretend. That's why, really, that's, it's hard for them to get deliverance in the church because they pretend so hard until even when you're praying for them and ministering to them, you don't know which, which thing in them you're actually talking to or dealing with. Because they have adapted a whole nother identity. They can come around the church. They can be up in the move of God. They can sit there. They can be right up in there clapping, praying, everything, and leave that church. Go down to the arcade and become a dirty dog by night. Because they're a pretender. They're a professional pretender. Y'all ever seen a homosexual? Especially the ones that want to be a woman? The men, they, they, they more women than women. They, they walk better. They, I mean, they just, I mean, it's just... Just and they flamboyant and gotta always be seen, gotta always be in the front. They come to church and they in the back one Sunday, two Sundays later, they in the middle. Next Sunday, they on the front row. The next Sunday, they up directing the choir and playing the organ and teaching the songs. And then a couple of Sundays after that, they pastoring. Why is that? Because they need the applause of the crowd to affirm them to make them feel okay. They need your claps. They need that position because that's the only thing that's keeping them from killing themselves. 
Man, I'm preaching, y'all. So what the enemy did, what the enemy did is in the church of God, he set it up so he could place homosexuals at the forefront of the church. Because he knew if he put the homosexuals at the forefront, you know, the, bigger, the biggest bishops, the biggest singers, the biggest artists are homosexual. He put them up in the front because they would affirm selfishness. See, they would take the platforms, they would take the stages and the TV cameras to show people, show celebrities, show stars, show abilities, show fame, show all the things that feed self. And they'll use God here and there and intermingle him in to make it look legit. But then they'll have the whole nation, the whole body of Christ's affections turn to themselves. Man, I'm preaching now. So now everybody considers themselves what God has for me, what I can get from God. What does God owe me? Where's mine? Where's my miracle in season? Where's my harvest? God owes it. Look at somebody and say, God owes it to me. God owes it. He promised it. He did this. He did that. Yeah, but it was all contingent upon obedience. Man, I'm preaching this thing, and boy, I tell you, I feel in the spirit somebody's insides turning. See, that's a demon spirit of affectation. See, this is the spirit, and it's up in a lot of us. The need to be seen and affirmed and approved of and pretend. So when things is going bad, you up in church shouting and dancing and falling out on everybody, knowing everything at your house is jacked up. And your kids sitting back looking at it. What's wrong with mom? And I know y'all say, well, but you're supposed to praise them in your problem. You're supposed to praise them in your... Look, you're supposed to deal with your situation. Deal with yourself. Sit down and quit trying to prove that everything's okay when you know it's not. Because cause see, as long as you're trying to pretend that everything's okay, can't nobody help you. You try to ever try to ever try to help and minister to a, a habitual liar? You know how hard that is? Man, you need to get saved. I, I know, I, I am, I'm saved. Now, brother, but see, you need to really give yourself to God. I, yeah, I have, uh-huh. I, I did, I, yeah, I did. But, but man, you know, you, I mean, you ain't living right. Oh, yes, yes, I am, yeah. I, I, I talked to God about it this morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right, God is, but man, you, man, forget it, just. just Forget it, dog. Just devil, devil one, devil one, me zero. I'm just, dog, gone. It's hard to minister to somebody that's just a habitual liar because they won't ever admit. Man, y'all, this is good to me. Listen, affectation. The guilt of it causes you to search for affirmation from everyone and thus you can never really fully do the will of God your life becomes about you and not God I'm gonna tell you how you can always tell because they get up before they sing or perform or preach y'all you know people said that I'd never be nothing people said that because I was uneducated. I'd never make it. People said I couldn't do it. People said I couldn't, but look at me now, baby. Look at me now. Preachers. I'm a bad man. See, you didn't know. You didn't know till you met me. Look at me. Preachers. People said, people said. You know what they're telling you? They're telling you that their whole life is centered around a negative rather than a positive. They have built their whole existence on a negative affirmation. Do you know what that means? That means that for the rest of their life, they struggle with themselves. 